Hello, Aries. It is time and welcome to your reading for November 2018, which is this current year. Congratulations. Uh, been fighting to get your mind cleared up a bit. I see. Aimed for a goal, a lot of struggles, the harder conflict, and it's just been like, ugh. I got gotcha. you. Sorry I haven't put up the Shadow of Judgment or, um, oh my god. I'm not reading any of, well, this one came loose by itself, so I guess it might be charging on your way. Don't know if it's something towards the past, but you're definitely on your go. Could be a Leo or a Sagittarius too, Aries. But yeah, sorry I haven't put up all of my other videos. My child is kicking my ass at this point. We're calling it Skittle Squish right now. But uh, I am still doing personal readings. All the information's below. If you're wanting one, just email me. And I'll give you instructions from there. Okay? Okay. You just tell me what you're looking for and we'll go from there. I've been fighting with this thing to get this like camera to work too. That's the other thing. Let's see. I feel like some of you are kind of stuck and you're not sure how to get yourself turned back around. You know? Because that's your card right here and over here it's just like really, really hard time getting through all of that shit. I'm not saying you can't get out, but it's a lot harder than what it's perceived to be. Or maybe the communication isn't working as well. Welcome to your time with Venus and Scorpio, by the way. Hopefully you didn't have any third party situations. We are in Scorpio, finally. And pretty soon, all that naughty shit you've been doing in the dark might just come to light. Because Scorpio is good for that. As a rule by Pluto, and Pluto doesn't put up with bullshit. Alright. No whammies. You get back over there. I was like watercoloring a while ago. Let's see what the cards have for you. I'm just gonna go ahead and spread them out instead of talking about each one and I'll go through as I'm shuffling. That way it's not gonna take as long as you guys don't have to listen to my annoying voice. The getting theme is options. Maybe a little bit of emotional confusion, but there's a lot of stuff here you can go for. Just remember, there's a serpent and a snake up in these cups. Don't try to look for emotional ties. Don't let your heart wander to those that might be dangerous, right? All right, so. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Like, okay, so first thing, you're trying to see if you should go ahead and harvest... Or if you let your shit grow, because something didn't work out priorly. That's what came up before. Like, something didn't work before. But now you're just sitting here waiting to see if something will work out this time, I feel like. That's how you're feeling right now. Next to that is what you're wanting, which is like... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody who feels like people are coming against them. Maybe in a future tense, or maybe because of some past grievances or something like that, right? Then next to that is the fear. What are, what are you guys doing? Oh, never mind. And then next to that page of swords, possibly an air sign, we have the nine of swords with somebody feeling like they can't even rest at night. They're staying up at night. The swords have control of them. And what's going on around you is some bad judgment. And that bad judgment led to you seeing if you should wait for your harvest to grow, right? After that is what's going against you. It's possibly surrendering or not being victorious against those who come against you. Six of Wands. And then after that is the Eight of Swords, where you feel like you're really stuck. Like I said. Like, it still isn't as bad as what you think it is, but it's definitely way more severe than what it should be, I think. It's a lot more mentally draining. It's a lot harder to talk about, I reckon. So yeah, you're waiting for 
your harvest to either be ready or you're just going to sit there and wait a little bit longer. You're not sure yet. But what's going against you is like a surrendering motion or maybe even um, having people against you. But here's Justice. Here's Libra's card. You might have to deal with Libra since Page of Swords is here. Could deal with something legal. Could deal with like some needing of balance. Maybe something's going to get swiftly justified by karma since that is a karmatic card. And then there's this fear that this person has that has something to do with the Knight of Swords, which has the Eight of Swords reversed underneath of it. Huh. Okay. So uh, these next ones. Yeah, someone really wants to, um, someone's be trying, like, it's, it's almost like contradiction in itself. Like, someone wants to hurry up and go, but then they want to be, like, patient and wait. Like, I need to get this done. I'm being impatient. Oh, wait, I gotta wait and see if this is ready yet. It's almost like a Gemini I'm not trying to make a decision. <laughs> like, should I stay or should I go? Like, what, what a contradiction this is, you know? Or maybe this is just a facade being put on, like someone's acting like they're ready to go. But in reality, they're just being patient and biding their time. Whether they're it's for leaving or not, I don't know. And then we have this page of swords reverse. She's kind of going on a fool's journey. There's a lot of hesitation in this. Uh, they aren't really... It's not going to work too well for them. Not that they'll fail, but like... The whole people are coming against me and I need to be on the lookout and get to them first before they get to me is kind of like, you know, that that's not the best way to go about things. And you, Aries, this is a general reading. It doesn't have to be you. Let's see, the Nine of Swords reverse. Someone's like really mentally chained I feel like to a third party situation like something is really in their fear like they're afraid and it's keeping them up at night like almost like someone would find out about it or someone's like plagued with it after finding out about it it's bad judgment call out here bad idea oh someone out there either you Aries or somebody you're dealing with um, has the wrong idea about either not apologizing or not going to be accepting an apology, or they think that there's not going to be some new beginning with somebody. Like, if it was upright, it'd be like, um, you know, oh, it's the wrong idea to apologize. It's the wrong idea to, like, you know, uh, try to get involved, but that's not the case with this. It's more like, someone has the wrong idea about rejection. Like, someone thinks, probably thinks they're getting rejected, and maybe that's why they're leaving, even though in the background, they're still being patient and waiting. What's going against you? Six of Wands, right? Someone can't manifest. Like, Someone is surrendering because they can't create anything different. <coughs> oh. oh my goodness, excuse me. I'm so stuffy. But yeah, um... Someone... Whatever this is, is like somebody's surrendering because they can't manifest anything. They can't have anything grow into fruition. Like, nothing's working out for them. And as a result, they feel like people are coming against them. So, like, they're taken off. But not for the right reasons. No, this is final result, right? Oh, you feel trapped in a broken home? Is that what this is? Like, or just a home where, like, nobody's satisfied? Where... Everything you worked for came crashing down. 
any theme is the high priestess. Someone definitely hiding their true intentions and feelings. It's just underneath the surface of this person, like, reminiscing and dreaming and thinking and having all of these emotional possibilities and options. Even the ones not good for them, right? So, yeah. Alright, Aries. So, like, someone's definitely, like, battling ideas with, like, wanting to leave or wanting to stay. But someone over here is, like, going to, I feel like, going against the grain and giving up because they think nothing's going to come of it, I think. Like, I think that's almost, like, an emotional feeling to me. Not anything else. Like, I think it's more like a cup thing than, um, anything else because it's almost like someone was trying to manifest something but it didn't work out for them and, and it's like Skyrim right like you keep trying to make a new potion it's like potion failed where you try a potion and it turns out it gives you poison damage not the enemy you were trying to use it on by putting it on your weapon no no, no that doesn't work no I feel like it's one of those like no matter what you tried, you just couldn't adapt to it. And now they're surrendering. And now someone feels plagued in a third party situation. Just a little bit. Uh, or that's a fear that they have that's keeping them up. Maybe that that's coming out or that they're going to experience it soon or like... I don't know, maybe they've already dealt with it and it's just bothering them. And over here, like, the judgment saying it's not a good idea to not accept an apology or not get her apology or think that something won't begin with this page of swords who's just running the floof and, or not running at all and hesitating to what they're doing. Which could also speak to this one, too, because they're both kind of like taken off in opposite directions rather than the same. Like, someone's going to the past, and someone over here is going more towards the future. More to do with this, like, third-party situation over here, too. And, like, now, like, someone feels trapped in a home that's just not working for them, right? It's almost... Sad. There's the first one. Someone's going to be really insecure in the situation. Or someone is already. That's why they're saying, should I stay or should I go? All throughout this. And the other person, I, I feel like the other person is saying this too. Because like, look, they're both facing the same direction. Like, I will cut you down. Or maybe not. I don't know. Like, they, it's like they don't know what to do. Like, they're hesitated on the spot when it comes to, like, fearing people coming against them, almost. Because that's how I read, like, the Page of Swords. Reverse, like, paranoia to the point of, like... Ugh. I mean, it, it, it's a really immature thing for an air sign to do, you know, like, look shit up on people just to use it against them, one of those. Using words to hurt people. Ah, and being emotionally manipulative with it. Okay. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in that regard. Oh. And something to do with a King of Pentacles, Scorpio. Oh, yeah, Scorpio. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone who could be somewhat a provide. No, I cannot talk today. Oh my god. Someone who's a bit of a provider. Someone who would take care of the home. Someone who um, was very diligent in his duties. Who produced a lot. Who was proud of his own achievements. Didn't have time to look up at anybody else because it was just like... He made this and he needs to make more in order to keep his reputation. Because that's what's most important to him. 
and he flourishes the world and his weeds and shit that have grapes growing on him, like his balls of nature, right? And that is the most important. And I feel like maybe that was one of the people in this scenario. Maybe you're, like, trying to come from that and learn how to provide for yourself, maybe, in this scenario. Even though you've dealt with, like, these two issues right here. Because it all, like, summarizes to one thing or another, but it's kind of like, yeah. Huh. I'm not sure where he came from, though. Because I don't feel like he's an actual person as much as he is, like, just a role to be filled. I think you could fill that role, Aries. But anyway, that's your reading for November, the beginning of November, to about whenever I decide to do the next set. Sorry I'm late. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.